Hello everyone and welcome to this demo. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to discuss a little bit about the, um, the, uh, this week's about sound. So we're going to deal with sound this week. All right, so we're going to deal with the sound a little bit this week. So in this example here, we're going to go through and show you how to code a solution for the play button, um, doing it with the music. So you click the play and then some music happens. Um, so what I would recommend is I have over here called Gamefield MP3. So you could go out on the internet. Um, I know there's so many different websites you could go to and get it's just a free MP3 file or a WAV file or something along that line, something to use in your demo. Um, you can use music, whatever you want to use, that's fine. Um, uh, one of the things uh, when we start off here, you just, I'm not going to go through the whole sense. We already know how to create a new project. So when we go into uh, Android Studio, we create a new project. We do the blank activity, um, you know, we're not using anything specific there. Uh, in this example here, I just dragged over the uh, um, a widget for a button, and I created a blue background. Pretty simple stuff right there. And this is just stuff that we've already accomplished, but a little bit different now. Um, so uh, we have here uh, we have a raw folder over here to your uh, right, and as you see here to the right, we have uh, uh, the raw raw ah, can't even talk the raw file. All right, so the raw file is where we have the information. So think of the raw file. We're going to put our files, our audio, video, MP3 files, anything like that we're going to put in that area. Now up in the res here, if you right click and go to new and click add Android resource directory. And as you see here, we have the resource type. We're going to choose raw. You could choose a different thing, but raw, you know, it's just the basis of everything. So we want to choose raw and we want to store anything like our our videos and audio files and so forth and click OK in there. All right, and then over here, as I mentioned, I'm Gamefill MP3. That will be where your MP3 or your WAV file goes at. More likely MP3 will be what you choose. Um, as you see here, I have the play button. If you double click on it, you'll get a play. It just says play button, nothing um, special there. Um, that's And as you see with the background, I chose that color. You could choose what you want to. Um, that's up to you. Um, right now we're just showing the basis of doing a play. So as we start off over in the coding here in the main activity, we want to um, create some instant variables. So now we're going to type private button and we're going to call play music. And let's see here, private media player. Media player makes sense, and then we're going to come down here into the oncrete and do media player equals new media player. So, I'm creating a new variable from that um, class called media player equals media player. Dot now we need to create a new instance here, and we'll do the create context, context, and then the integer for the res ID which is the game, which will grab the ID. ID will be the ID from the actual um, game field MP3 there. So if we do R for our resource, and we want to do a period there, we're going to grab the raw and game field. So that pulls up, and yours will be whatever your MP3 is. So as you see here, we grab the raw directory, and we grab what the value of that is, and it's a game field in this example. And it'll be whatever your name is. Pretty straightforward now. So now we'll come down here and we'll do the play music equals button find view find by ID r dot ID play button boom. Now play music equals well actually my bad play music dot set on click listener our new on click listener as you see here. We already have the on click. So you know in this area you're going to, this is like a, a, a section where you right click and, and sl select your on, on click listener like we did in the past. I did it pretty quick where you weren't able to see it, but it's the same thing as I showed in a previous video um, where you choose what your on click listener is. 
And then we'll uh, choose up a new class called Pause Music because we want to hit play, but we also need a class to pause it as well. So we're going to choose Pause Music here. And now we'll try to think what I want to type here. All right, so now I'm going to type a uh, conditional statement saying, you know, if the media player doesn't equal or not equal to null, um, thinking here, media player dot pause. So if it's not equal, then we'll pause it. And then we'll say play music dot, I'm going to grab the uh, variable for, trying to find it here, set text. We'll call it play. This basically means that when you select a button, it just auto, it toggles back and forth is what kind of what we're trying to do at this point. So we're giving it a toggle button. So you choose, it's defaulted to one and then it defaults to the other one to go back and forth. Now I'm doing another public class called Start Music. So we have pause music and we have start music. Now there's the same thing. We're going to do the same condition right here. Basically, it's going to be a repeat of it. All right, so I have media player dot start. I don't think if I need something else here. All right, so we need to put set text. Same thing as we have up there, I'll call it pause. So that way it's basically doing a toggle again, like we have above. I'm trying to think if that was it. Oh, we need to put some on on click as well. So now we'll do the if media player is playing. And then we put in here, We'll comment at stop and give it an option to start again. Um, now we need to do pause music because we're calling that class. So now, you know, right here, we're in this listener right here. And if it's being clicked, we need to say, hey, you know what? If it equals this, we're going to stop and pause music. So it calls that class and does that action. And then else, if it's something else, then we're going to call the different class, which is start music. So, you know, you do a conditional statement and then you have your class that needs to do the work for you in this case. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and hit play. Let's see if it works. All right. So as you see here, we we're able to hit pause and hit play. And basically the app is working conventionally. As you see here, it's working fine as accordingly.